guys and gals, welcome back to another episode of Haunted Gaming. This time we do a much requested creepypasta called The Theater. This creepypasta begins with a player telling us about an old PC game called The Theater, but tells us we probably haven't heard because a large majority of people often deny or have no clue about this game's existence. The player tells us that The Theater is an old game released around the time Doom did, and was available on bootleg CDs oftentimes, but not even containing the game. Apparently the actual legitimate copies of the game were released with blank covers with nothing but a sprite of someone called the Ticket Taker, who looked like a bald man wearing a red vest over a white shirt and black pants. The Ticket Taker was emotionless, the player even says that if you break the disc, apparently the Ticket Taker looks angry next time, you look to the cover, but this was dismissed as an urban myth. There wasn't even a developer logo on the cover or any description on the back. The player tells us that the game was known to not install properly and that the game crashes while installing. Some people actually manage to install properly if you manage to reset your computer on the license agreement screen and once the computer would boot back up it would ask if you agreed or disagreed to this license agreement and upon agreeing the game would install properly. So the game would start up without any intro and would show a main menu that looked like a, uh, that looked like a movie theater on an empty road and had three selections, new game, load, options. Selecting the options to make the game crash and load would not even function whatsoever, making new game the only working option in the game. The game uh, controlled using a first person viewpoint, and the player would stand in an empty movie theater, empty movie theater lobby, with a ticket taker standing in front of a dark hallway. The player tells us that there was uh, really nothing to do but look, look at the movie posters on the sides or go towards the ticket taker, Upon moving closer to the ticket taker, a low quality sound clip plays saying, thank you, please enjoy the movie. The player would then move into the dark hallway and the screen faded to black, and you would return back to the lobby doing the same thing again and again. Now on the surface, the game seems pointless, but things begin to occur the longer you play the game. However, these events would still be random, so you never know how often you have to do the same repetitive task over and over but the player described that it was considered very disturbing by other players of the game once they reached this specific event. So the first event is the player would notice is that the ticker taker is absent. The player would then have to walk through the dark hallway and this time the game wouldn't fade to black but instead it would let you walk into the hallway and explore. Players would feel very uncomfortable walking down these hallways wondering if something would happen but eventually they would meet up with a dead end. Eventually, players would see someone who looked like a ticket taker, except at this point, having a swirl for a head. Players of the game reported that they immediately froze up and got stomach aches upon seeing the sprite. A loud screech would play and the game would glitch out. This would last several minutes until the game would spawn you back into the theater lobby looking completely normal. The game would continue normally again, however, for some players, after another few cycles of the same repetitive task, of going to the ticket taker and walking down the hallway, the player would notice a swirly headman briefly appear in the corner of their eye with a quick yelp sound effect. After this, the players would then see the ticket taker moving back and forth, no animations on the limbs, though and the ticket taker would have a worried expression on his face. Some players state that the movie posters now showcase the swirly headman, and as the players move towards the worried ticket taker, a low quality voice clip from the ticket taker would play but it was so hard to tell what he would say, but general consensus among players was that he was saying, never reach the other levels. The screen would then fade out and players would return back to the lobby, with the ticket taker gone and the hallway blocked with a large brick wall. Touching this wall would make the game crash. No player knows what or how to access these other levels, or why the swirly head man causes so much fear. Supposedly all the copies of the game were destroyed, or lost, but the creepiest part is that even away from the game, some of the original players still see the swirly head man in the corner of their eyes. Alright, pretty good creepypasta. As far as cliches go, they exist, but they're so minuscule they aren't really worth mentioning. I really don't have much to say about the game in itself, since it's something I've never heard of, and as far as I could tell, it doesn't really exist. I searched uh, for the games released before after and around Doom's release but found nothing about the theater. Maybe it was under the radar and maybe I wasn't looking hard enough or it just simply doesn't exist. But regardless it makes a good creepypasta. The premise of constant repetition leading up to a sudden and eerie change is 
when done, pretty decent. And we've seen it in games before, such as Yumi Nikki with Uboa. I really found the Ticket Taker to be pretty interesting, though. The, the most interesting part. I'm not sure whether the Ticket Taker and the Swirly Head Man are supposed to be the same person or aren't, but I'm pretty sure they are. And I think the Ticket Taker could possibly have some split personality disorder and be attacking unsuspecting patrons as they walk down that hallway. You know, the absence of really any interaction or even animation with this character brings some eeriness to him, in my opinion. You, you, you take that human aspect away and you just leave this, I guess, robotic robotic sort of feature in that Ticket Taker. It, it gives you that creepiness because it, the Ticket Taker really doesn't have any human emotions to show. So you can never really connect. You can only really look at it and fear it. Now, the two things I really found odd about this is the fear of the swirly head man. Now, I don't know how you really get scared. I mean, we know there are games like Slender that exist where a static figure is shown and it can bring fear into players, and I get that, but it, not that much. To the point where your stomach is churning, it is just kind of odd. I mean, can a video game sprite really scare you that much? The other thing was that the game was completely lost. Now, I understand that known copies were misplaced and destroyed, and back then, around the time of this game's supposed release, the internet hadn't really existed and file sharing was still a dream. I expected at least one person to keep the game. I would have kept this game, it would have been a huge collector's item in my books. What about you? Would you have kept this game? The lack of any actual game on the internet kills the credibility of this creepypasta, but then again, it's just a creepypasta, and they aren't really notorious for being real so I can ignore it, since in all respects, this was a pretty good creepypasta. As far as the game goes, there exists some unofficial versions of the game, and I've tried running them, but they seem to have some issues, but they aren't completely unfixable, so when I can fix them, I do promise a playthrough of the theater. In the end, what would you rate this, and what would you change to make it better? This has been another episode of Haunted Gaming. If you like what you saw, then like, comment, and subscribe. This is me, Mudahar, and I'm out. Thank you.